Yeah, so I guess the hero went ahead and stomped you and sent you back here. You gotta forgive me, Count. I failed ye. I've never felt less chunky in me life. Bleh! So our hero is real. Yes, a force to be reckoned with. Nastasia, the prophecy, consult it and learn where the hero will go next. We will lay a devious trap for him and bring him to his very knees. Blech. Yeah, um, I already sent Mimi to, the, to a site picked for that purpose. This pleases Count Black. Excellent work, Nastasia. I have granted Mimi powers potent enough to ensure she will obliterate this hero. Yes, he will be helpless against her. I depart. Alert Count Black when this hero is no more. Bleh, Black. Oop, forgot my book. Yeah, I'll fire off a memo on that, but for now, I, we have another item on the agenda. Oh, Chunks, you got a sec? Yeah, so some minions in the Bowser organization are still resisting assimilation. So I'm heading out to squash the resistance. And while I'm gone, I want you to stay here. Yeah, you just sit tight and think about your recent job performance, okay? Oh, I... God, this really tweaks me chin hairs. And here we go. It wouldn't be a Paper Mario game if you didn't play as Peach when you don't want to. Wait, didn't that nasty Count Blake try to make me marry Bowser? And then Luigi, he... Luigi? Bowser? Anybody there? Nope. I uh, know, you're the only one of the wedding party left standing, it looks like. So you finally woke up, huh, princess? Oh, you guys. You alright? She's so used to him, she's just like, Oh, you guys. You guys who kidnap me and hold me against my will. Can't even find his groomness. You remember King Bowser? Oh, and that guy with the mustache. I think he had a green tux or something. Yeah, or um, Luigi. That's the guy. I don't. We don't know where he ended up either. Thing is, most of us minions got all brainwashed by that blood guy's assistant. Yeah, everybody's half nuts. It's not even safe here. We gotta clear this area now. Private Koopa here will escort you, okay? You guys make a break for it. But what about you? What am I gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go help my men. King Bowser had burned me to a crisp, but I left him. No Koopa le leave no Koopa left behind! I guess that's the movement for this game. No coin left behind, no Koopa left behind, no Pikmin left behind. Hill Bowser! Farewell. Okay, lady. We've got to evac the zone. Let's roll! And it would not be a real Paper Mario game if you didn't play as Peach when you don't want to play as Peach to interrupt the action that you were in the middle of enjoying. So, when we're playing as Peach, you, give up. There's no hope for escape. All hail the glorious Count. Do not resist. Submit to his rule. You will love it. And just like in the other games, the good Koopas don't have sunglasses and the bad ones do have sunglasses. Those sunglasses must be pretty dang cool if it makes you turn evil if they from getting them. I mean, it's like, those sunglasses are so cool, I will sell my soul for them is pretty much what they're saying. See, they've already sworn eternal allegiance to Count Black, okay? And now you need to, so I'll go ahead and pencil you in for a 10 o'clock brainwashing. I love that line. You just messed with the wrong Koopa. I serve Bowser. You tell this count. He irk. Hail Black. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there. Isn't that better? So listen, there are still a few problem minions that I haven't sworn allegiance. You be a lamb and run them up for me, okay? There. Yes, ma'am. Oh man, this is going downhill fast. You see that? They even broke the captain! Look, lady, if they find us, it's game over. We gotta clear this area. Stat. Let's go in the same direction they were in! Okay, now the door is locked, so we can't do that. So yeah, this is Count Bleck's castle. It's pretty freaky looking, if I do say so myself. I always liked this area. I just always thought that it was just really cool, like how they worked with negative space when making it. Like, I mean, I know other stuff's done it before, and actually right there is one of Peach's abilities. You press 2 again in the air, you can hover down slowly with a parasol. As usual, Peach always gets a parasol in these RPGs. Don't know what's up with that. And of course, you can't just point it at people to transform into them. I guess that would make 
Too much sense by Paper Mario standards. No, no, dead end. While well, staying here won't do any good, let's turn around and keep looking. Oh, turn back? Yeah, no, your friend there had it right. This is your dead end. Who are you anyway? Fine cover, lady. I'm trained to handle scum like this. Oh no, he found my only weakness. He touched me on the head. Hail Count Black. Well, Princess, sure lucky. I thought the wedding explosion finished you. Oh, yeah, but this is the end of the road. And your luck runs out right here. Sammy came on over and got with the program. Come and serve the count. Never! Yeah, that's great, Nob. My hypno powers kind of say otherwise. Just sit tight for a sec, okay? So I gotta brainwash you real quick. Who knew Peach had incredible mind powers to avoid brainwashing? What? That wasn't on my schedule. Where'd she go? Well, that's really not a deal breaker. Our prophecy fulfillment plan is running smoothly. We have no need for her. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where she runs, since all worlds are about to fall. Okay, and with that, we are back in Flipside here as Mario, and I guess I should say it because I haven't yet. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Paper Mario after that long string of cutscenes. In the last episode, we got the second pure heart at the end of the first chapter. And in this episode, we can see that in Chapter 1 Lineland, we can now visit any chapter at any time that we want. So no having to go through all of Lineland to get to where we want, we can just shortcut now. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and hop down here because that elevator sucks. And I don't even really care that I could just have rode that elevator down. I just hate the elevator that much that I'm just going to jump down and take this slightly less animating elevator, which I don't really know if I'm saving time or not. I'll have to experiment with that. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, I figured as much. But anyway, so, now we have to go see Merlin, which is right here. You return so soon? I can see from your faces that it went well indeed. Let's head back to my house so you can tell the details. Please, step right in. I don't care if it doesn't get me a level in this game. I still want that star point around your mustache. Oh, well. So, inside we go for even more cutscenes. So how was it, dear friends? Did you find a pure heart? Oh, such pure brilliance. This is a true piece of the one true purity heart. Yes, we met Merlumina. She gave it to us. Well, what? Lady Merlumina? You were well met. She is an ancestor of mine. She was one who wrote the light for Dusticus to counteract the dark one. Merlumina and those who followed her built this town. They are why we are here. M Master Merlin! B -b bad news! Oh my god, it's hideous! No. What is it, lad? Get a hold of yourself. Y you see? Um, 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 um,
it shall be. And you, Mario, come along. I may need your presence as well. Oh, me? I don't know what to do. Like how he's pointed his nose. So yeah, we're having a boatload of cutscenes. Just warning you, flip side's generally going to be really cutscene heavy, and the levels are going to be very gameplay heavy. So when we're in flip side, there might not be a lot of original commentary aside just for me talking about what the characters are saying, or just reading them in silly voices like I did back in the in those back in the old days, I should say. Because yeah, three years later. <laughs> Thing is, a lot of people got the wrong idea. It's not that I didn't want to LP Super Paper Mario or that I had something against it that made me not want to LP it. It's just that I did two Paper Mario games in the span of a year and Mario RPG. I wanted to take a rest from this for a little while. And that rest ended up being a lot longer than I anticipated. Um, yeah, I was looking up the tower and she fell out of nowhere. Hmm, she does not look at all familiar to me. Who could this be? What's the matter? Oh. Mario has six fingers! Not really, it just looks like he does. Princess Peach, this is the princess that Count Black kidnapped? Yeah. Well, the poor girl seems to have had a rough time, that we can be sure. She doesn't appear to be conscious. And she is shivering uncontrollably. What could the problem be? Oh ho, I know! Mario, you must go to the chef named Saffron on the first floor of Flipside. The first floor of Flipside! I'm sure she knows a warm and revitalizing recipe for this poor girl. Once she revives, we'll be able to ask Princess Peach exactly what happened. Now off with you! Find Saffron the Chef on the first floor! Alright, so now that we're done with that, we can actually now explore more of Flipside than we could before. I guess now would be a good time to kind of go over the different areas. First off right here, we have a fortune teller. This fortune teller is basically just, if you forget where to go, she will tell you for a small fee. She is also of the Murr family. Hee 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 hee, welcome to the fortune teller's fortress. My name is Murr Lovely. So there's always these people, Murly, Murr Lovely, Merlin, all these. For 20 coins, you can always hear where it is you have to go. There's other fortune tellers that are used for other things as we get further into this game, but we're not gonna get into them quite yet. This is the only one we can do quite yet. Right here we have the inn, which you can of course use to rest if you want to. The inn, despite being kind of a detailed place for this game standards, I don't really use it, honestly. They give you so many healing items, they eat up so much inventory space, that I just... I would rather just use a shroom shake like that to restore fall health rather than spend the money there. Uh, here we got Merlin's Place, of course, as we know. Right over here we have the item shop. Now. Like I said before, good day! Yeah, I said good day, everybody. It's Chugga Conroy. We're gonna talk to this guy. We're gonna go ahead and store some items here. We're gonna store stuff in the store! Haha! <laughs> so we give him the life shroom because that is a really vital item, and I just don't really want that taking up inventory space yet because we're not gonna have really be in much danger of dying. Now, this guy does sell a few different items, which I didn't go over before, which I will right now. Uh, we know the Shroom Shake, of course, that restores 10 HP and cures poison. Long Last Shake will gradually give us 10 HP over time. Does not heal poison, though, so kind of up to you if you want that. Life Shroom you can buy for 100 coins right away. You might want to buy these if you just find yourself really full of coins, because we already have 260 coins after just the first chapter. This is definitely the most money-friendly Paper Mario game. Here we have the fire burst. That'll conjure fire no matter where we are, even if we don't have fire that we can draw lines from. I mean, we can just use it to scorch enemies that are not immune to fire. Ice storm, of course, we can use that to freeze enemies. It is kind of nice to have because a lot of enemies are immune to fire in this game. So that can be kind of good if you like offensive items. Sleepy sheep, of course, we already went over. Courage shell, we already went over. Shell shock, we went over. Star metal, that is worth a thousand points. You can convert your coins into points, which is kind of nice. So if you're about a thousand points away from a level up, or if you're just close in general and you want to give it a nice little push, you can. Gold bar is worth a hundred coins, and you buy it for a hundred coins. If you want to convert your coins into inventory slots, you can do that. However, if I'm not mistaken, the selling price isn't quite as high, so it's kind of a nominal fee for doing this. You can find gold bars later in the game, and ironically, gold bars are actually used for things that you can eat, which we're about to get into right now, because it is about time for us to meet with Saffron the Chef, which is a returning feature from previous Paper Mario games. Here at Saffron the Chef's, which I believe is right here, we got a house right there that we're going to walk past just in favor of checking this place out. 
Welcome to Sweet Smiles. Oh, sugar, our dishes will turn that frown, little frown, right upside down. What? A friend of yours is out cold? She is not just a friend. Come on. They've been casually dating for about 25 years now. I think they've earned the title of more than just friend. I mean, Mario's friggin' earned it by this point. Okay, so she needs a fire burst to warm her up. So some stores will shell sell them. We saw that the store had one right there. And we already have a fire burst, hence why I didn't buy one. So right here, we go ahead and just give that to her. Oh, sugar, you want me to create a dish with the fire burst? One spicy soup coming right up, sugar. Okay, I will never do that again. Actually, I take that back. No promises that I won't ever do that again. That was too much fun. Sorry about the wait, sugar, but it turned out just right. So we got spicy soup, fills 8 HP, and cure poisons. I don't know why it says fills 8 HP. I guess because liquids fill their container, but I don't get it. Right over here, we have a paid product placement. I wish I was getting paid for that, honestly. Awaiting data upgrade. That does not work as of yet. That is basically just going to be a database of every recipe that we have found as of yet and just what we have to do to make them. Oh, mama, did I get some interesting info from a buddy of mine. He swore to me secrecy, so look at you and keep quiet, I'll tell you. Now, I'll blow your mind. Eat mushrooms to restore your HP. Got that? Did you hear me? That's a prime info, huh? Keep it under your hat. Keeping a mushroom under your hat, I'm like Abe Lincoln. Or was that Babe Ruth? Actually, no, Babe Ruth with had cabbage under his hat. No. I confused Babe Ruth with Abraham Lincoln. Have you met my Walter? That old dear. His eyesight is going, I'm afraid. He can't make faces he can't make faces out. And he tends to yell a fair bit when he's hungry. I've yet to I have to admit though, when he gets hopping mad, he gets mighty hunky. So that's just a pointless little house. RPGs are full of them. I guess when we're down here we could always just show like other stuff that's on this floor for the time being. We have yet another generic house right about here. Ah, uh, we join the artist. Oh, uh -huh. this look that you are sporting. Is this what the kids call in? Now that is for more. I shall incorporate this in my next brilliant creation. Are we? The trendy elements. I must add them more and more, for that is what top creators do. Yes, I really am part French, so don't tell, tell me that I'm racist. So... I will openly admit, a lot of the stereotypes regarding the French are true. I studied French culture for two years. It really is true. Everyone in French does... Everyone in French? Everyone in France does smoke. Everyone there drinks a lot of alcohol. Okay, not everyone, but it really is true. I studied French culture for two years, and I come from a partially French background. I know my stuff when it comes to French, so yeah. I know that's not really a French accent I was using, and it was just an over-exaggerated French accent of me just trying to be stupid, but hey, come on. I don't know why. I always like jumping over these doors just to see if I can clear them. I don't know why. It's just... I guess it's just because I don't feel like you move fast enough in this game. I just always am trying to find different ways to entertain myself. In fact, you know what? How about we entertain ourselves by disobeying the laws of physics? What do you guys say? Isn't breaking the laws of physics a lot of fun? Mario Galaxy taught us that, and Mario Galaxy knows everything. Look at this. I'm not even moving my feet, and I'm getting forward momentum! Oh, right. I'm supposed to help the princess. Yeah, we just dumped the soup on her face to wake her up. Uh, oh ho, it seems to have worked. Hmm, I feel like I just ate the most delicious thing. I haven't had a dream about such tasty food in ages. Oh, Mario, you're okay? Wow, she's concerned for us. Where, ex but where exactly are we? This is Flipside. Um, okay, and who are you? My dear, I am called Merlin, and that is what is known as a pixel. Her name is Tippy. Come, let us let us adjourn to my house. Oh, we'd be grateful if you would be tell us more there. So, we have Princess Peach already. Game's over, let's go home. No, we have to save the world. Dang it. Before I knew, I awoke and saw Mario, you, and Tippy. Well, my dear, it is most assuredly a tale of woe and troubles. Oh, Mario, what do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? Apparently, no happened to them, as Mario is nodding. Hmm, 
I suppose you're right. There's just no way to know. Just hope they're safe. Hmm. Wow, somebody in the Nintendo universe cares about Luigi? That is the real reason that the world is ending. Not Bowser and Peach getting married. Somebody in a Nintendo continuity cared about Luigi. That is why the world's ending. And one pure heart shall lead the way to the next, so it is written. There are still more heart pillars to be found in Flipside, young ones. When you find the next heart pillar, you must set a pure heart in it. And when you do so, when you do so a door to the world containing the next pure heart will appear. And, my intuition tells me, the next door may lead you to the mysterious Merle. Yet another recurring character in this continuity. Like Bestovius and I, Mer Merle is one of the ancients. We are long lost cousins. Yes, I have heard that Merle has a long guarded and ancient and secret treasure. My instincts are correct, it may be the next pure heart we seek. I must tell you, the like prognosticus also speaks of her magical powers. So we just need to find this Merle person, is that it? Oh, are you going as well? You should not tax yourself. You've only just recovered, and it may be dangerous. Now, this is something that I really like about Super Paper Mario. Just listen to Peach right here. She's actually owning up to the role that she plays in everything in this world. After all, the void is spreading in the sky is my fault. Mine and Bowser's. Yes, she's accepting responsibility. I'm going, and that's final. I've made my decision. Peach has joined your party. Now, granted, she's not as useful as she is in Super Mario RPG, where she's a really amazing healer and can be a really good tank if you equip her right. But that's the thing. Peach is actually useful in this game. Honestly, I enjoy playing as her. She's got some nice skills, which I'll be showing off right here. We got an old key, Akita, somewhere in town. Okay, secrets in this town that even I do not know. Okay, so. Intuition tells me you should be able to use it very near my house. Okay. I will continue to read the Light Burnout's Kiss and look for any clues they may help. I'm sure the musty old tome has much, still has much to teach us. Yes, indeed. Now, Mario and Princess Peach, you really kind of stop the Count's evil plans. All right, let's go. Yeah. So, and fade to black because they were too lazy to animate us switching to Peach. So, when playing as Peach, we can use her umbrella in a few ways. We can press and hold two while jumping for a slow descent, and we can also press down to guard against enemy attacks. We can go ahead and choose her on the menu screen. So, when doing this, we are impervious to attacks, but we cannot move. Uh, you get a little bit of slide time with it, so you can move a little bit after doing it if you're currently in motion. Of course, by pressing 2 again in the air, or by just pressing and holding 2, you can slowly descend. And only downside is, she can't flip into 3D, unlike Mario, so only Mario is able to do that. I mean, I guess they had to make Mario useful in some way, but because of that, you'll find yourself playing as Mario quite a bit more than Peach. But like I said... Peach is actually useful in this game. I don't know about you guys, but usually I don't like Peach. She just isn't one of my favorite characters. And it's just, in this game, I like Peach. She's actually useful. But um, I guess anyway, now that I'm done actually talking about Peach, right here is the door that we have to unlock. Now, I can understand Merlin not being able to walk over to it because he lives in two dimensions, but come on, his eyes are always facing the screen. He should have been at least to, been able to see the lock was there, even if he couldn't actually do anything about it. But uh, anyway, now that we have gotten Peach in our party and we've done just about everything there is to do here in Flipside, aside from taking the heart to the pure heart to its next pedestal, I think that we're going to end this off here. So next time on Super Paper Mario, we're going to go off looking for that pedestal now that we put this key in that keyhole, which will lead us to the path to that pedestal, all right? See you guys then. Try saying that outro five times fast.